Hey, here are the seven things that you need to know before you move to Roanoke, Virginia. And if you stick around to the end, you'll find out my favorite thing that you need to know. Everybody quiet, please. I get calls from all over the nation asking what it's like to live in the Roanoke area. And in this video, we're going to talk about the seven things that you need to know. Let's just get this started. Number one, lifestyles. No matter what your lifestyle is, if you're looking for country, looking for a homestead, uh, want to live in the city with public transportation, if you want to live in a county, in the suburbs, you want to live on the lake, Roanoke has that for you. So before you decide to move here, you definitely want to kind of check out those places so that you know exactly where you'd like to live. Number two, transportation. If you're moving from a big city to here, our transportation is okay. We have a bus line that runs daily. They have limited hours on the weekends, no hours on the holidays a lot of times. Uh, Roanoke City, if you're living there and need public transportation, super awesome. They go just about everywhere in the Roanoke City area. If you live in the suburbs or cities like Salem and out in the Roanoke County area, your options as far as bus stops are limited. So you definitely would need a car or a bike to get to where you're to the bus stop uh, or even just a car to get to work. Number three is one of my favorites. In the Roanoke Valley, we get all four seasons. Now, sometimes all four seasons in one day. And I have a video up here that talks about that. But I love that we get all four seasons. Uh, in the fall time, we have some beautiful, beautiful trees. Springtime, all the flowers and all the buds on the trees and things like that, gorgeous. The best place to view those are going to be some of our numerous hiking trails, like on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, and or on the parkway that goes through most of the Roanoke Valley. The views are wonderful. Number four, we have a ton, a ton of outdoor activities. Whether you like to canoe, mountain bike, hike, run, even with nobody chasing you, um, swimming, we have all of those great activities. We're ranked in the top as far as our mountain biking. Um, but we also have lots of rivers. If you like river activities, we have Smith Mountain Lake locally for those who have boats and love fishing. So if you are into the outdoors, this is definitely going to be a great move for you. Number five is our traffic. Now our traffic is nothing like the bigger cities like uh, Richmond and Northern Virginia on the East Coast and, and you know, bigger, bigger cities. But there are always delays on 81. There's always a wreck, seems like every day. So if you're commuting 81, that could be an issue or a delay for you. Also, some of the other congested areas in the Roanoke area are uh, getting onto 220 or 581 from Tanglewood area. Uh, and the Towers area, there always seems to be some type of traffic there. So traffic isn't so bad compared to other cities, but we definitely have those congested areas. Number six, because I'm fluffy, is the humidity in the summertime. The humidity sometimes gets up to 100%, uh, and it is not that dry heat. It is definitely wet, sticky heat, and that is probably one of the biggest things that I dislike about the Roanoke area is the humidity. You have to see for yourself. And number seven, my all-time favorite, uh, here, if you like fresh vegetables, uh, we have a ton of options for you. Uh, we have probably, uh, off the top of my head, and I'm sure there are more, there are at least seven farmer's markets going on uh, on the weekends, always. Uh, you've got downtown Roanoke. Uh, you have Floyd, the Grandin area. You have a Cape Spring farmer's market. Uh, so you have a ton of farmer's markets around. Also, if you're looking for a local hookup on grass-fed beef, local chicken, local pork, I've got that hook up too. A lot of times you can meet some of those people at the different farmer's markets. So if you're looking for local and fresh, this definitely has to be the place for you. If you are looking to move to Roanoke and uh, or you have a house here that you're looking to sell, reach out to me. Let's have a chat about what you're looking for to see if this is a, a good fit for you in the Roanoke area. And if you like what you're hearing, definitely hit that like button subscribe button 
and or if you're wanting to see uh, get a notification of future videos that come out, definitely hit that bell. Until next time, have a super great day.